How many of you know that in our American culture and society today, we have a lot of problems with divisions of race and gender and politics? But the kingdom is for everyone. There is no hierarchy in the kingdom either. The kingdom has no geographic boundaries. Everyone is your neighbor. Let me tell you, North Central, if you all started looking up and risking how much this campus could change. If you started looking each other in the eyes and smiling, just believe when someone smiles at you, they wanna be nice to you and share a little bit of the piece, like a little piece of the love of God with you that day. You all have to heal your own neighborly relationships on this campus before you can go out and make a difference in our neighborhood or the world beyond. Can you be and live a sanctified life as an accountant, heck to the yes. Can you live a sanctified life as a pastor? Yes, you can. Can you live a sanctified life as a fashion designer? Yes. I don't think Jesus even cares where we do it or how we do it as long as we live a sanctified freaking life. So avoid those things that make a bad leader. Take care of your responsibility. Don't take advantage of those you have responsibility for. Take responsibility for what you control. Don't take credit, but take blame. Don't shift blame, but share credit. And don't try to control someone else's responsibility. Learn to be a good follower so you can learn to be a good leader. When we're faithful in few things, God will entrust to us greater things. If you want to find the great thing you can do for God, do the little thing well now. And I just pray that the same passion that brought you here to the program that you've chosen, do not get beaten down. Don't forget about it. Have that passion. If you don't have it today, find it tonight for tomorrow. And do your best. Because God does not need any more mediocrity in the kingdom. He needs us to be passionate so that we can become skillful and creative so that we can truly impact the world for Christ. This is my big secret to life. One, I have the big picture. I know there's a God who is incredibly amazing. He sent his son Jesus to die for my sins and in the end, no matter how my day is going, I have the victory. I win. I win in the end and so do you. So I remember that, okay? I never forget that. Of course we're gonna have bad days, but don't have a bad year. Don't have a bad month. Have a bad day and then remember who loves you. Remember who cares about you. Have a positive attitude and it will change your life. I've had a great life and, and I pray the same for you. May God truly bless you.